Hey guys, Lonnie Lobb, lead technician from Stolly Technologies. I'm here today to tell you about the DCS uh, CS24 server from Dell. Uh, this is one of their custom servers that, that they've released. Uh, we're going to see more and more of these from Dell. The custom servers that Dell's releasing are a, uh, a custom variety of components that they put together for large customers. Uh, if someone's going to be doing either a, a huge web hosting center or a huge computing cluster, they're going to order these custom servers rather than one of the off-the-shelf Dells. Um, they're going to strip it down to only what they need and uh, kind of take it down to the, the lowest price you can. These came to light a few years ago and they actually are just coming off lease and they're going to be hitting the used market um, because they're custom. I mean, there, there's some parts that that these don't have that the, the other servers do. Uh, first off, there's a custom Intel motherboard in here that offers no uh, BIOS updates right now. Um, and there's also no PCIe expansion uh, riser because they didn't add any kind of card in these. Let's talk virtualization. It is fully capable of virtualization, but there are some problems if you're using bare metal hypervisors. The bare metals are the ones that you just download a disk and install only the hypervisor on the box. The, uh, for example, VMware ESX or the Citrix Zen server, bare metal hypervisors. These aren't compatible with the LSI embedded Mega Raid, uh, SATA Mega Raid controller on these boxes. What we can do is load a hosted hypervisor, uh, like what Microsoft's Hyper-V is, or if you're to load, load uh, the Linux version, you can load CentOS, and I know there's a Zen client you can use for that. We've tested both of those, fully functional, fully working. I'm gonna guess that the Red Hat KVM works as well, but we have not actually tested that. But like I said, the bare metal hypervisors do not work. The hosted hypervisors will work without a hitch. Um, these will take the Intel Xeon 5000 series processors. We can do a, a 5100, 5200, 53, or 54. Uh, unlike the different variations or the different generations of 9 series Dell uh, servers, these will take any of the, the 5000 series processors. These will also take up to 64 gig of DDR2 fully buffered RAM, uh, just like any of the 9 series from Dell. They have an onboard LSI SATA Mega Raid, which does not offer any uh, SAS support, but it does hold four SATA drives that we can do RAID 0, 1, or 10 in. So we've got a, a great storage option here. Nothing performance-wise, but a great, just solid, solid uh, storage there. There's an AST2000 chip on board that handles the, the BMC and the remote management uh, on the server. So it, it does have that feature if, if you're looking for something like that. There are two onboard Intel Pro 1000E NICs on the back to handle any kind of network traffic that you would need in your data center. Um, we've done installs on these machines with Server 03, Server 2008, and Linux, so we know that they work with those operating systems. It should work great in, uh, in your data center or, or your cluster, whatever you're, you're doing with them. Um, these are just a, a great solid box, nothing special, no bells and whistles, they just do the job. Uh, this makes them a great candidate for e either data centers, if you're doing web hosting or something like that, or if you've got uh, an HPC cluster, just you're doing pure raw computing, these are a perfect candidate for that as well. Thanks guys. Thank you.